What will happen if federal government silence Kanu Igboho, Bishop Wale Oke reveals all? Hello, my wonderful people. Nigerian governments are not aware that by their actions on Nandi Kanu and Sunday Igboho, they are saying to Nigerians that these people are really the big deal. Their words are important. They have weight. They are leaders. You know, a leader is not just by the position that was, you know, bestowed on you. So to say that, um, oh, you are now the general secretary, you are now the president, you are now the governor. When chips are done, we know the real leader. The person who calls the shots, who the people follows, is the real leader. It's not just anybody. If you see what I mean, it's not just anybody. It's not just the person with the name. So my people, this is what is happening. The real leaders are the Unandi Kanus, the Sunday Igbohos. These are the real leaders. And Nigerian government is going after them. Nigerians are watching, you know. And uh, Bishop Waluki is saying something very important that we should pay attention to. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get to all the details. What will happen if federal government silence Kano and Sunday Igbo, Bishop Waluki reveals all. The National President Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFM, Bishop Francis Waluki has said if the federal government silence Nandi Kano and Sunday Igbo, all the agitators will rise to take their place. Okay, why briefing newsmen on the state of the nation on Thursday said the only thing that could stop agitation is good governance and equality. The only thing that will stop agitation is for them to realize what they are doing, retrace their step and do the right thing. Good governance and good government. We will talk, we'll be talking of government where everybody feels that they have equal stake equal opportunity, equally represented. So long as some people feel marginalized, sidelined, there will always be agitators who will champion the cause of the emancipation of their people. We appeal to the government to make sure that there is equality in the participation and representation in governance by the people. Until that is done, agitation will never stop. If we silence if the government succeed in silencing Nandi Kano Sunday Boho, others will rise. Bishop Waluki said, National Secretary PFM Dr. Cosmas says the body is praying for the government and that has been planned to and they have plans to meet with the government in the nearest future to make his position known. He said the PFM would support any legal action taken by the federal government to keep the nation in unity and togetherness. But the government have got work to do. We are a law-abiding organization. We are living in a nation governed by rules of law. Let the action of the government be according to the law. If what the government did in arresting Nandi Kanu is within the ambience of the law, they are justified. He said, on the issue of of constitution. He said the current document does not represent the people at all. The 1999 constitution was forced on Nigerians by the military. It is a constitution that is corrupt. We need a brand new constitution. We can't continue to receive and use the same constitution. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And uh, I mean, Bishop Waluke is saying, well, uh, this is what I'm going to tell you. This is what I'm going to say. Uh, if you con if you think that getting an Andy Kanu, getting these people will will end agitation, it, it's not going to end it. I can assure you, it's not going to end it. In fact, as soon as you think you silence them, other people will rise up. Yeah, other people will rise up. Other people will rise up, and you'll be surprised because this is not the way forward. This is not the way to do things. This is not what we ought to do. So Bishop Waluke is saying the government should not be thinking about, you know, going, you know, uh, uh, you know, silencing these people. Deal with the issue. Deal with the problem. Deal with the main issue. Deal with the problem. 
What you're doing is not acceptable. It's not right in any way. Deal with the main issue. This is where the problem is. You've not dealt with the issue you want to just, you think something will magically happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Things are going to go from bad to worse. So this is what is happening. Bishop Wakiloki is saying this is not acceptable in any way, form or kind. Things have to be done decently and in order. We cannot uh, continue to pretend that all is well. We cannot continue to pretend. Something is seriously wrong here and um, we cannot uh, uh, ignore it. If you go ahead and you, you, you take the life of Sunday or uh, Nandi Kano, it will not change the course of the, of the problem. It won't change what is happening today. It won't change what is currently on ground. Things would have been bad, spoiled and destroyed. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You know, so I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Uh, but the truth of the matter is somebody's got to tell them the truth. Somebody's just got to tell them that what's happening is not right in any way, form or kind. It's not right. You know, it's not right. And that's why Nigerians, we've got a duty to allow our voices to be heard. We must defend those who we say, you know, they are our people. We must defend them. What are these people standing for? What is Anandi Kana standing for? What's Sunday Bohu standing for? What are they standing for? Is it not for the good and the betterment of the people? Is it not so that there is, you know, people feel equ there is equality? There is equality. People feel, you know, part of the system. Is that not why? Is that not why there is need for all this? You know, so that's why I am, you know, I'm, I'm advocating that Nigerians speak up instead of being quiet. Everybody must speak up. Everybody must speak up. Nobody must be silent and allow this evil to continue. What's happening is not acceptable. You know, what's happening is not acceptable. There is serious need for consign. If you kill Sunday Igbo, would that end the problem? If you kill Sunday, if you kill an Andikanu, would that end the problem? Is that what you want? When there are real issues in the country, when there are real issues in the country, when there are real situations, there are real matters going on. You know, there are people, there are people, you know, being, life being destroyed. And yet, you know, insurgents and all that happening, nothing is happening. And then the government is saying it's Sunday Boho and uh, Unandi Canada is the problem. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget you have a voice. Do let it count. Please let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.